I just wanted to. Can we get a little talking in? I, sometimes we jump so quick into it that I'm not ready. Somebody mentally. commented on our YouTube confession time. For the longest time, I thought the NB intro, hello, boys, girls, and hello. Is this just us ha- talking? Because I am recording now. Oh, you're recording? Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. We just, we'll see if it's interesting enough to keep in the episode. It's interesting. All right. Hello, boys, hello, girls, hello, was actually M- EMB-IE, like a cute shortening of the word embryo. Basically, I thought you were saying, hey there, you boys, girls, and little baby unborn fetuses. <laughs> It finally hit me that the NB is for non-binary. Ha ha. Love the show. Thanks for what you do. <laughs> I do have to say, That's pretty I was cute. calling an embryo an MB pretty on brand. That, yeah. MB, yeah. But NB. Good point. And it's, they sound completely distinguishable from one another. For sure. But this person got, spelled NB as... Laurel. Yanny. <laughs> Stop saying Yanny and Laurel. <laughs> uh, as a... Uh, the letter N and the letter B, which is not how you spell NB. That's a, that's that's not black, which oh. I learned the hard way. The first time I did like a <laughs> caption, someone's like, hey, NB is for not black. And it's like a thing that black people use to talk about people who aren't black. Uh, oh. NB is E-N-B-Y. And I'm like, oh. Yeah, okay. like NIMBY. Yeah. <laughs> which Josh is. Yeah. Not in my backyard. It's not big enough to house p- homeless people. Otherwise, I would. If I had a big enough backyard. Okay. You know what Yimbies and Nimbies are? Nope. Okay. Nimbies are pretty much any liberal. I would love to help <laughs> out the homeless, but like, not, not where city. I can see them. Yeah, we should build affordable housing, but like away from me and like the poor neighborhoods. Got it. And then Yimby is yes in my backyard. So people who are like, yeah, make a fucking 20 foot high rise of affordable housing right next to me. That's fine. Got that's it. It's not a very. Like, tall high rise 20 foot yeah that's barely two stories <laughs> it goes down it's a low, oh, it's, it's really deep we're bringing back the low rise buildings from the early 2000s okay like pants <laughs> uh, <laughs> like pants I did, yeah i wasn't getting it but yeah. that makes sense and i actually did like it that wasn't me fake laughing i know it kind of felt like i was fake laughing but i did genuinely think that was funny what is this doing it's cute leave i haven't it. had an issue with it all day it's so cute it's Please in my leave it. it's in my vision okay close that eye <sighs> oh <laughs> hello boys hello girls hello envies and welcome back to the judges place on the internet my name is josh my name is rick and my name is Christian. And we are the, the Judges. Judges. Back in Kenter than ever. Clark? No, otherwise. otherwise. What are other Kents? State. Fuck. Oh, my. Ooh, ooh, oh, ASMR. my. Those are my ASMR heads. Oh, fuck. I do need to call us out, but you talk first, Erica. Oh, I was, I was just going to say, don't, don't we need to whisper for it to be ASMR? <laughs> nice mechanical keyboard. Oh, oh fuck! I'm coming. <laughs> Ew! Get it on mic. Get it on mic. Uh, somebody, however, left some review that was like, "Don't ever eat on the pod." And I was like, "We we all we eat on like three episodes ever, and we re- prefaced it by saying like, hey, 'Hey, we're eating on this.'" Josh episode. went back and listened to three years again <laughs> to see if we but we uh, up the the eating tally. The Diablo Four development team had a live stream today where they're just like talking about stuff, and I watched it. And the fucking like game lead guy, who's like kind of an asshole, uh, it was like they called it like a, a campsite chat or a fire. The fire fireside. fireside chat, but it was, it was called like a campfire chat. I think that's what it's called. But there wasn't a fire, but he's like, I tried to get s'moreos, but we just got Target brand off brand Oreos that are s'mores flavored. Uh, and he's just like eating them while they're like talking. And I was like, this is unlistenable garbage. So, hey, I get it, listener. <laughs> I get it now. I get it now. S'moreos, though? Yeah, s'moreos are pretty fucking good. I are those a- s'more flavored Oreos? Yes. I had a deep fried Oreo for the first time. Where? When was when that? When we went camping. Co- co- yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah Remember, yeah, yeah. I came and I had. You've a- told me the story three times. Except I forgot. We didn't every actually time. camp. We just showed up to where they were camping. And- right. I'm just still in shock that somebody's like, "Hey, we're going camping," and I brought all the materials to make deep fried Oreos. Yeah. Which it's not that crazy of materials. It's pancake batter. Pancake batter, oil, and Oreos. Yeah. And like a pot and a fire. Oh. Yeah. And then Those something to, to fish find. them out, and then plates. 
It's not that crazy. And like powdered sugar, if you're going to get fancy they with it. They forgot the powered sugar. So, so they, they weren't get getting food. fancy with it. So why'd you bring it up? Well, we were camping. Well, I was hoping that they'd not be glamping. listeners and they could learn from their mistakes for next time. Are they listeners? Maybe. Listen, they might be after we met them. Christian said like, this guy is like an ex-Boy Scout and he pulled out the craziest shit. And I'm like, yeah, man, we made like cobblers on our trips. Every Boy Scout troop has the one dessert that they do that's just like, why are you making that at a fire? Yeah, that's how I felt. Because you can. Yeah, it's literally it. As, as you, as every other meal sucks ass. And it's like, we've spent 30% of our budget on this one dessert, and it's going to be awesome. For dinner, we're just going to eat like a can of beans. But for, for dessert, we're going to have three sticks Baked of butter Alaska. melted into a dough with blueberry pie filling in it. Yeah, that sounds incredible. All right. I don't know if the ASMR is picking up me drooling over here. <laughs> Editor, put in christian drooling noises i don't know what drooling noises are. it'll be in okay thank you editor oh, okay but something else was in our mail in our mailbox and p.o box 58 ottawa illinois 61350 so here's some letters that got sent in to us add to that i'm gonna say a really uncouth joke e. but uh editor you might have to cut this out r.i.p the unabomber guys why is that that uncouth Oh, we talked about mail. It made me think of the Unabomber. He died? Yeah. Yeah. Well, oh, good. Rest in pieces. Yeah. Well, I don't know if we like him or not. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, he, I'm going to say people who kill people bad. True. But sometimes <laughs> he was spit, and then sometimes he's like, hey, maybe stop spitting. Yeah, dog. you're spitting too hard. Yeah. Hi, judges. Hello. You can use my name. The pod gets me through my Monday workouts. I'm sure I'll get side eye from laughing in the gym. That's dangerous. Sending love from Philly, from Maddie. And it Philadelphia. Is a, it is a uh, save the date for Maddie and Sean. They're Got getting it. married May 24th. Oh, of 2024. I was like, honey, <laughs> the save the date's a little late. Guys, do we get a listener submitted save the date for one for every state? <gasps> That'd be fun. And then we just go on a tour to people's weddings and we write it off as a business expense. Holy fuck fuck that would be sick and we just do an episode at each of their weddings write Hang that on. down write that write down, down write that down write that down listen thank you maddie and sam sean fuck they look like cool people they're drinking that that save the date which makes them cool i mean they're from philadelphia the only way it'd be cooler if they're blasting a flip, dart philadelphia flip 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 this oh my gosh this is so much okay um it says hi judges hello hi Feel free to use my name. Nikita. Uh, Nikita. I am 18. As you can see, I'm graduating. I Hooray, wanted to send you one yeah. of my announcements because you were seriously one of the things that got me through my senior year. I've been listening for a little over a year and you guys have only gotten better. That's wow. Good. That's good to hear. It, objectively true as well. Yeah. I, look, I would agree. Some commenters don't agree. <laughs> I look forward to coming home every Monday and laughing to a new episode. Christian, sorry if I spelled it wrong. You didn't. That's the correct way to spell it. Your reading is getting much better. Wonderful job. Objectively true. It's been a bit the whole time. Jo I've been goofing on you guys so hard. He has a Pulitzer Prize. Josh, your jokes and puns are bad. Oh. Actually, it says your jokes and puns may be bad, but they still make me laugh, even if Erica doesn't enjoy then them. Then they're not bad. <laughs> I can make joke ironically bad, and then it's funny again. Erica, you are my spirit person. Too beautiful to be an animal. Thanks. I love to hear all the crazy family drama stories you have. Aurora, you are the greatest, the world's greatest girlfriend of the pod. <laughs> Low bar. <laughs> Anyways, thank you, for all, <laughs> thank you all for being so awesome. Keep it up. I'm excited to carry you with me to college. Love you all, Yay. Nikita. That Thank is you. so cute. Be sure to plug us to all your new uh, roommates, and you're going to get a lot of them, because every time you plug, they're going to be like, hey, I need a new roommate. Yeah, I'm distancing. Congratulations on your graduation. We're yes. very proud of you. Also, we're not supposed to say spirit animal anymore. Well, she mm. didn't. She said spirit person. Because you're not an animal. Correct. Just as a, we're just going to put that in there. We're not supposed to say it. Okay. Is it cultural appropriate appropriation? Yeah. Makes sense. But we don't just culturally appropriate on this podcast. We also podcast on this podcast. And what that entails is us going online and finding silly little stories. And this one is a little subreddit. Off used. R slash GCSE. 
G-C-S-E. Yeah. Whoop. Whoop. That's right. What's I, it stand for? I already forgot. <laughs> Good cop. General. Excellent. <laughs> what was it? G-C-E-D? S-E. S-E. Good cop. Shitty. Employee? General Certificate of Secondary Education. Ah, oh, and so this is a this is a no. This is to help. This is a certificate to like teach people. Yeah, G- general certificate. Certificate. Oh wait, no, you're correct. I was gonna say it sounds like Sorry. a GED, but it's a it's a subreddit to like help people get okay. their GED. study. Yada, yada, sure. Yada. This is tagged as serious, and the flare is tip slash help. Okay. Shit myself in the exam. Oh. Hold on, this is a serious problem. Very serious. Tip slash help. It happened the other day during my maths exam. British. British. I think it was the worst day of my life. I just want to curl up in a ball and die. Basically, we were sitting down doing the maths, and I, being a dumbass, didn't go to the toilet first, thinking I could hold it. I mean, maths makes me want to shit too, so. That's your first mistake, buddy. The next mistake where however many you got wrong on the test. Shouldn't have eaten all that beans and toast. Boo. Wow. To Christian, not to you. Yeah. Mission failed. We'll go next time. However, when we got in the exam, I realized I had deceived myself. My stomach started gro- groaning insanely loudly. <clears throat> My stomach started groaning ins- insanely loudly after the first 10 minutes, and I got really scared. The in- invigilators would tell me off. Invigilators? That's there's no way that's that that's the up. word, right? That's like, that's, that's invisible a, alligators. That's a what the fuck is an invigilator? Word. In I was scared the invigilator. It's Cockney. You're right. North American English proctor, a person who watches people while they are taking an exam. North American English is wrong, right? It also says British English. Mm-hmm. So this person gets paid to just watch you take a test? If you have a problem, ask the invigilator. I don't I don't like that. I hate that word. It seems hey, listen. Don't it's bring awful. I don't I'm a little insecure. We can say that. I don't like people using invigilators in the bedroom while I'm there. Do that while I'm not there. Yeah. I don't need a proctor. I don't need a proctor. I'm administering the exam properly. You got a little carrot for that. Thanks. So it's a, that's a warning carrot. Do we, do we need to do a different sound for the little carrot? Fuck. Yeah, just do like a little higher pitch of a bonk. That's so... Do a bink. Bink. A bink. The previous day I had explosive diarrhea, so I probably shouldn't have been more prepared. So I probably should have been more prepared, but I wasn't. After about 45 minutes, I couldn't even do the paper anymore. I had to focus on not shitting myself. It felt like if I even budged over in my seat, the seal would break and it would come gushing out. It oh was my God. horrible. That sounds... Like the worst day of your life. It's like the worst dream you've ever had. Yeah. It's like, oh God, I'm late to the exam and I'm about to shit myself the whole time so I can't even do it. And then you accidentally do shit yourself. Like you shit yourself in the dream and then you shit yourself in real life. Is shitting yourself ever not an accident? Good question. Interesting. Like you hear about like uh, people tell you tell you if somebody breaks into your house or something you're getting attacked to just like yeah just piss do your it. hands yeah it gets, like get stripped completely naked piss yourself yeah just to like freak them out and be like ew that's fucking gross i'm gonna leave yeah i was I, gonna murder you but now that's embarrassing yeah but i don't think that i could i i don't <laughs> think i could shit myself on command i have a hard time telling myself to poop in the correct scenarios yeah. the ability to shit on command is clark kent-esque yeah it is Eventually, I literally couldn't hold it anymore. While desperately clasping the sides of my desk for support, I accidentally dropped my pen. Oh, game over. Shit. Game over. Dangerously. I leaned over to pick it up, and that's when it happened. Mm-hmm. Diarrhea. <clears throat> Diet Rita. Diarrhea started exploding out my ass. It came with such force that it broke through my trousers and pants and sprayed all over the desks behind me, drenching the three people behind me like some no. sort of shit shotgun. This no, has to be a lie. No, it no. has to be a lie. Of course, by now the entire exam hall was screaming, but I was just whimpering. People started throwing up, whimpering. covering their exam papers with puke as well as the shit already there. I was on. Do you think he gets a makeup exam? <laughs> <laughs> I was on one of the back rows, so the shit silhouettes of the students covered it. It's like the, the Hiroshima <laughs> shadows. Oh my god. 
obviously I was immediately excluded and the exam canceled. Apparently the headmistress is okay is going to try and get special considerations for the students affected, although I doubt she'll do it for me. I ah, also heard that the students' up. parents that's are thinking up. of pressing charges. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't think you can get arrested for that. I also, I also that. don't know the laws in Europe of shitting yourself but I, do, I don't think that can be a criminal it, I mean it's not like it didn't do you think the British cops show up and they're like right do you think it's ever been an accident to shit yourself <laughs> and you're like oh that's a good question sir uh yes and then they hit you with their belly clubs why didn't I go to the toilet in the exam? Because I have anxiety. Fellow people with anxiety will know the illogical embarrassment they would feel doing that. Although I doubt it compares to the embarrassment of what I did. My future is ruined. I will not be able to go to sixth form or uni. I want to die. All because I shit and fart. The fart didn't get you in trouble, bud. <laughs> One of the people who got drenched was my crush. Oh! Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, little, no! little shit cherry on top of the whole thing. Woo! That was sent uh, to our email as a Reddit story from... What a good find. Hi, judges. I absolutely love the pod. When I saw this today, I thought of you guys. Thanks for all the laughs so far and looking forward to season four. Much love from the UK. Dilly. <laughs> Don't cha change your Gmail name. Don't have it say the other name. And then when I went at the bottom put also, here's my real name, though. Don't call me that other name. Yeah. I'm and I get the beef you have right now. I'm just still caught up on the shit story, Josh. <laughs> I read the, I read Same. the, like it spread through my. That literally the only line I read was it spread through my trousers, and I was like, reading this, <laughs> <laughs> uh, absolutely reading it. Is yeah, it, no, it, that's it. a must. <laughs> it honestly is impressive. It feels made up. The fact I can't imagine ever shitting with enough force to like shit through my underwear and pants also the like it, the angle doesn't make sense because when you're sitting your thinking. butthole's like down well he said he was reaching down so it, it lifted the butt oh. okay right but like how does it have enough force to go like through the denim my brain is thinking it shot up, up the crack but then even that i feel like it, it would be if you're sitting and your balls are covering we're assuming balls here then it, the balls stop the poop. That's what they're there for. There's no other reason an anatomically for balls than to stop the shit. I thought shit was stored in the cum. What? <laughs> <laughs> shit, was, shit was stored in the You thought wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Buddy, I hate to break this news to you. But do you think maybe, you know, like those big orange like chairs that definitely weren't ergonomic that every school had in middle school? Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if they were in one of those, and so the shit just sort of used the, like the chair okay. to like hot wheel Ooh. track it up. Oh, and like oh the material would assist in that. Oh, I for do. sure. Yeah, it would. yeah, it's slippery. It's slick. Huh. Yeah. I'm on. I believe it now. This is a real story again. And I mean, this person was doing, you know, their GCSE, their maths, maths portion. That's physics, baby. You got to calculate the trajectory of that shit. No. Slope okay, but are we doing math or are we doing physics? Joshua. Physics is math. I know. It's just being Slope right. intercept that shit. What's sixth form? I have dude, dude. I read six form, and I was like, "Dive! What the fuck? Does what that anime mean? shit is this now, huh?" <laughs> I'll Google it for you. Six form, yeah. It's like Rock Lee breaking through his last seal. Yeah. Six form describes the two school years, which are called by many schools the lower sixth and the upper sixth. That does that not makes answer me that more question. Confused. This also feels like anime again. Sixth form is the final stage in British secondary schools. Okay, you have to take this test. School? You have to take the test to finish high school. Secondary test is uh, what? Secondary school is high, high school. school. Okay. Because college is post secondary education. Yeah. I knew that. Have I told this on the store on the podcast before? Is I was in college taking an exam in uh, thermodynamics, snore physics, Erica. Uh, Physics, Sorry, I'm reading. It says that Math. students shut up. Students typically between 16 and 18 years of age. So it's uh, your your junior and your senior year of high school. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Editor Br British snore noise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good luck. I was taking an exam. It was either thermodynamics or quantum uh, mechanics, but. Uh, I was taking an exam and I was I was having that like noise in your stomach oh where you're God. like it's so loud everybody can hear this it's so loud it's so loud it's so loud um, and I I don't like getting up in the middle of exams to go to the bathroom it just so it, you just took it faster 
You just used your brain harder. No, it was literally like fucking with my head so bad. Like I couldn't even take, I was like, I was like blindsided. I was like, I couldn't look, read the words on my paper. And so I got up and used the bathroom. And then what's one of the three times I shit outside of my dorm room in college. And I went back to take my exam and got like a 94 on it. And so you cheated. And all, the bathroom <laughs> all, yeah, right? all of the people, I mean, the other seven people in my class were like, how the fuck did you do so good? And I was like, I didn't cheat. I just shit real bad in there. I didn't <laughs> look at my phone or anything. I was so nervous. I left my phone in the classroom because I was so nervous to get like caught for cheating. I came back in a state of, state of nirvana <laughs> after shitting so terribly in there. That, that Have you told that story before? No. No, I don't remember that story. How I am like, because on one hand I'm like just ask to go to the bathroom, but then on the other hand it's like there are a lot of teachers or invigilators or whatever he called it that Invisible would be like alligators that would be like you're going in there to cheat you can't yeah. take a shit and all you got all you got left to do is shit on your classmates at that yeah. point it really is a catch twenty two also I'm sure we've talked about this on the podcast are the internal noises and in your yeah. grumbling yes, everybody can, hears every, it right, oh my yeah. god everybody, everybody can hear it man if if high school Christian could. <laughs> hear this information you wouldn't be here he devastated. wouldn't be here right now he would have been doing something dire absolutely devastated r slash step parents maybe whoop yeah. we've definitely whoop. not had step parents yeah, this, this was sent in from sammy thanks sammy thanks sammy you can use my name hi judgy is your brother dean oh. doing okay <laughs> we can't make supernatural jokes it's the only time we've ever had to remove a story on the podcast now we're gonna have to remove this section Fuck! because my name is Sammy and I'm obsessed with y'all. I've been thinking hard for a story for y'all and I have the perfect solution. My friend, call her Izzy, my has friend. a horrible boyfriend and recently posted about her awful boyfriend that I hate on Reddit. She also gave me permission to send this to y'all. So this is uh, akin to a listener submission where it's this person's real life friend posted on r slash step parents. This would be considered. Um... Uh, what what level of, like, oh god, degrees of separation? Sure, three. I, when you're doing like a paper and you have like f- you have like first person anecdotal evidence or whatever it's called. Mm. Yeah. What? Fuck. I'm Please. flopping. I'm, Josh. Just let him read, honey. It's okay. Good one, Joshua. Fuck, that's not editor, editor, please. This says, please give me proof that she needs to be a hot, single, 23-year-old. Thank you all for keeping my life happy. Keep slaying every day. Sending love from Minnesota. That was the worst Minnesota accent I've ever what? heard. It's like the one accent I could do pretty good. No, incorrect. Let's hear yours. Oh, Minnesota. That was the worst Minnesota incorrect. accent. Incorrect. Minnesota. That's bad. That's bad. No, come Minnesota. on. There's Okay, well... well. Minnesota. Like, oh. That was Irish. Slap in the face. I live in Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> Listeners. I chased all the snakes out of Minnesota. <laughs> First of all, that's offensive. Second of all. How, come on. Oh, the Irish are going to come for me? Oh. Yeah. St. Patrick's going to come for me? Yes. Fuck. Right. You're going to have a lot of snakes. It's really hot, buddy. too. I take it back. You're going to have a whole lot of snakes in here. He's hot? <laughs> Yeah, what does that mean? He said he's gonna come for you. Oh, ah. it's gonna be really hot. <laughs> very so good. Very good. Potentially, good one, Josh. Thank you. If I insult Irish people enough, he'll jizz for me. Yeah. yeah, interesting dynamic. Yeah. Well, he's not originally Irish. He was like a slave, came to Ireland, scared away the the, the snakes, the Protestants. Whoa. You're gonna listeners. Say Tell us which one of us has a better Minnesota pronunciation. They're gonna say you. I know. They like you. Correct. More. Come on, no. Give me. Give it's me. It's not a popularity contest. Say hi. Joshua. My name is Erica. I'm gonna vote for Amy Klobuchar in the upcoming election. I will not say that. Fuck. I almost got her votes. Mm. <laughs> Should I marry my boyfriend with an 11 year old daughter? I'm female, 23. And I've been dating my boyfriend, male 41, for four years. Why is this in step parent? Oh, I get it. Okay. She would be a step parent. Yeah. So when they Got met, it. she was 19 and he was 37. With no, a seven-year-old daughter. She's, he, she's so mature for 19. 
He has an 11 year old daughter that I knew about the whole time. But since I was in college the first three years, it wasn't really a big deal for me. Now that I'm out of college, he wants to make me a bigger role in her life and has been talking about getting married. It's way worse that she was actively in college dating an almost 40 year old, right? It's uh, different. Like, is this a sugar daddy situation where he's like paying your bills to get you through? Because like somebody DM somebody DM me on Instagram and said, hey, I don't know if you're into this, but I want to be your sugar mama. Somebody messaged me. I think it was a bot. I but. think it was about too because it opened up with saying, I'm a very godly person. It said, hi, I'm godly. Ah, okay, yep. But as if it was their name, but their name wasn't godly. Yeah, we got the same bot. Yeah. Should we have them fund the judges? It's not a bad idea. Worst case scenario, we have our lives ruined. You dip you dip <laughs> your toes into it, see if they're real, and then if it works out for you, are you cool with me being a sugar baby to this person? They're godly, so that means no sex stuff. That's true. As long as there's no sex stuff. But we'll let Josh dip his toes in first. Yeah. That that's the sex stuff. Dipping that's your toes fine. in it. That's fine. I don't care what you do. At all? Well, <laughs> a little. I do. I, I care a little bit. Oh my god. What were you saying? I don't remember. Um. I got distracted. By oh, he sex said, talks. "Is it worse that they're in college?" And then you started to say, "Sugar daddy said Oh yeah. Situation. If it's a sugar daddy situation, and you're like using this man for his money while you're getting your education, like sure. But then it needs to stop. You are going to have some alpha bros mad at us. <laughs> Let's hope this doesn't. Fuck. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like, do you know, like, it would be one thing, like, if they weren't in college and it's like, oh, we somehow, like, worked in the same field or something. Then it's like, I guess I can see how this happened. It's still I don't know. a weird no, age gap. Like but to be in college, it's like, how are you even meeting this person? How are you spending time with this person? You have such different lifestyles at that point. I mean, Tinder. They're your professor. No. That's bad. <clears throat> it's not illegal. I never said it was illegal. I, I just said wa- it was bad. I just watched Easy A. Oh, Judgy's Letterbox is off to a hot start. I put four movie reviews in there. And I signed it off to Dash Josh so you can see who's leaving the review. Uh, Easy A, ever seen it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pretty good movie. I was. Yeah, I mean, decent. Emma Stone is so good at... Emma Stone... I, it's funny. We just watched Knocked Up. And I was like, I love watching Seth Rogen movies because he, he is so good at writing just like background dude conversation like everything yes. feels like so natural and it's part of why i love super bad so much and and uh you know obviously emma stone is in super bad um but in easy yay emma stone again it's just like the way she acts is just so natural and it feels so like real uh but in that um spoiler alert for easy a uh, 2009 <laughs> yeah it's around there um uh phoebe from friends uh, Lisa Kudrow L- yes. yeah, is having sex with a student and she's like she was the guidance counselor and she's like it's not illegal he's tw- he's 20 and it's like it's still wrong and it might still be illegal <laughs> just because they're of age doesn't make it not fucking bad of age with the quotes what was I even saying um, I think we only got to the ages <laughs> So maybe start at sentence two. Now that I'm out of college, he wants me to take a bigger role in her life and has even been talking about getting married. The bu- the baby mother, baby baby mama, it's BM. The bowel movement, the baby mama. Ah, oh, the baby mama. <laughs> Stop the it. Minnesotan? The baby mama is in the picture and has custody of the 11-year-old, so my boyfriend only has her around two days a week. I've actually met the baby mama quite a few times, and we get along fine. However, my boyfriend doesn't know how to cook or clean and has never showed a desire to learn. I fear I would be in charge of all the house maintenance if we were to get married and potentially most of the care for the daughter. I have never wanted to be a stay-at-home mom and I've always thought the chores should be split. Yeah. We just had a major discussion about him not contributing much, letting me do all the stuff when I see them both. He has put more effort in since then and has been good, but I still don't know about the SD part. In a f- oh, st- about the stepdaughter part. Don't! Maybe that's part of the subreddit. SD shorting for stepdaughter. I'm thinking graphic. I'm thinking memory card. Yeah. Over here. Oh, I was thinking sugar daddy. I'm, or sugar daddy. <laughs> uh, I don't know about the stepdaughter part and if I'm willing to take up that responsibility. I just graduated last May and I feel like I've barely lived my life. I feel like I still need to figure out who I am, but can I do that with them in the picture? Or since I'd only see the daughter up to three times a week, will that lessen the responsibility? This girl should not get married. Yeah. Insane. 
I don't know. It's so sad to see, like, because even the, our, the, our listener, her friend, is saying, like, you you were fucking 19 when you met this 37-year-old man. Yeah. You were one when he was your age. Yeah, no. Oh, why did you have to put it like that? It's fucking Ew. gross. It's gross. His daughter is only, like, 11 years younger than you. Yeah. There was a chance that you went to the same, like, if you went to a school that had kindergarten through eighth grade, you guys went to the same school. Yeah. There's a non-zero chance. You could have been her big buddy. Yeah. It's fucking crazy. Did you guys You're, have that program in schools? No, but I, I did just watch Role Models. With, so you get it. Yeah, with Paul Rudd. And been a little bit of Paul Rudd kick recently. And we put that review up on Letterboxd. Letterbox, Judgy's underscore pod. Go ahead and check it out. But uh, yeah. Uh, what was Sammy? Can we all on three say your friend needs to be a single hot 23 year old and it's kind of freaking ridiculous here in the situation? One, two, three. Your, your friend, friend needs, needs to be a single, single hot 23, 23 year old and it's kind of freaking ridiculous that they're in this situation. situation. Send that. Clip it, Sammy. Clip it and ship it. Yeah, I don't I don't like that situation at all. It, if you think that your future husband isn't going to share the load. Of oh, my God. Oh, he's sharing loads. <laughs> I just mean like if you're already having that thought in your head, then you shouldn't be getting married. The to line person. of he's never shown interest to even learn or try. Yeah. As a 37 year old man. No. Now 41. he's 40. 41 yeah. year old man. He's like, I, I don't even know how to do the dishes. Oops. Yeah. No. Maybe talk to the ex-wife and see. Why did they split Do we up? have a specific reason why we split? Do you think I should marry this man? Also, don't take her advice. But well, we don't know if they were married. True. That's, point. that's a really good point, Joshua. They didn't mama. specify ex-wife. They just said baby mama. But that was posted. Mm-hmm. The Reddit post was posted four months ago. The listener submission was relatively recent. So hopefully we get an update. Sammy, Sammy, update, Sammy, update. Yeah, update us. Because I, I need you to convince this girl not to marry this man. It's bad news. Terrible, terrible news. It's bad, bad news. One last quick one, guys. Nope. Break time. <laughs> Ads. <laughs> And we're back on this side of the ad break. And that's, of course, the side that we get to do the fun, the invigorating, the exciting, the always good. Tell me about that circle, George. I have to do a new intro. I can't I can't wait for Erica to... Tell me about that circle, George. Oh, what do we shit. Got that- I forgot that. I was like, why are you asking me? I don't fucking know what you're doing. It's your episode. No, I have a circle, George, for us, boys. I finally get so strawberry. Erica on a freaking group chat, and she I'll does this strawberry. to me. Strawberry? Yeah. I thought it was watermelon. I was trying to go through that last watermelon. Do, 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 do. I gotta find the circle church. Do, 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 do. Sorry, I got distracted by a hot girl on Instagram. Do, 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 do. This was sent to me. Also, you can use my name if you want to. Okay, that was at the very bottom. Jenna, Jenna, don't appreciate it. Come Jenna, on, do put, better. We gotta start putting it at the top. Jenna, Jenna, you're pissing me off, Jenna. She says, I wish that I could. Me and my boyfriend were just taking this dialect quiz, and I feel like it'd be really good for a circle jerge. Okay. Be really embarrassing when, I found, when we find out we all have Minnesota and dialects. Says, We're also from the Midwest, but I'm curious to see your guys' takes. Hee <laughs> hee. We call it a soda, or we call it a pop. Is that okay. going to be the questions? Is like soda versus pop? For sure. Or do we just say Coke because we're from the South? This quiz Isn't is... Isn't that a fucking weird thing? How do you order anything if you're just ordering a Coke every time? This quiz is from... Weren't we sponsored? We're bleeping that because we're not currently sponsored by... But we were. Yes. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Christian is going crazy over there. What are you doing? He's actually a goofball just, tonight. Josh forced me to have a drink. I'm having a drink. <laughs> drink let him loose. This quiz, can I just say it? Yeah. Okay. It will be bleeped. <laughs> <laughs> just say it, but it will be bleeped. Yeah, say it. Say it. It's fine. This quiz is from <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to put the freaking Duolingo owl over your mouth. 
But we're not sponsored by them either. Fuck! Yeah. That sexual deviant? The Dua Lipa owl. Quiz! That sexual deviant? <laughs> Can we guess where you're... Can we guess where in the United States you're from based on your dialect? I'd like to see you fucking try. How do you pronounce the word C A R A M E L? Do you say caramel? Oh. Caramel or caramel? I say caramel, but I think typically this region is a caramel. Excuse me? Um I say caramel. I say caramel. Yeah. I I made a, a conscious effort to say caramel because I like being different. Now, what about lawyer? Is it lawyer, L-A-W? No, we're not or from... lawyer, L-O-Y? I'm going to need a lawyer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> lawyer it is. Definitely lawyer. How do you pronounce pecan? Is it pecan, pecan, or something else? Uh, can I get a pecan? Can I get a pecan? I think it switches for me. I think I think I say pecan pie, but I'll eat pecans. See, yeah. that's how I felt about caramel. Yeah. Like if you want a caramel apple, I'll say caramel. But like, ooh, like can I get cane. some caramel on that? Like, yeah. I'll say that. Yeah. Yeah. But I think for this we'll do pecan. I would say pecan. I would say pecan. Well then do pecan. Well, it's not it's a group thing. So two out of three, we're going with pecan. It's already done. Moving on. What about pajamas? Do you say Pajamas, or do you say pajamas? I say jammy whammies. Is that an option? I say pajamas. PJs. I mean, we're that's the Chicago. It's the pajamas. Yeah, you gotta get them as many A's in as you can get. It's not pajamas. Paj- pajamas. Like what's that? Fucking- pajamas. Yes. <laughs> An egg. Is it egg or egg? I don't. I don't know. E H G or A Y G. We egg? say we say egg. Egg or egg. So E H G instead of that's, egg. Do that again. Egg. Or what? Egg. We egg. say egg. I say egg. Scrambled eggs. Oh, shit. We say right. scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs. Do you say scrambled eggs? I say eggs. Okay, then do eggs. I definitely say eggs. But I have been called out multiple times for having the strongest Midwest accent out of all of us. Oh, is you think eggs is Midwest? I hit, I hit my A's real hard. <laughs> wash or wash? Oh, fuck. Anybody who says wash is going to hell, right? My grandma says war. Yeah, I feel like it's exclusively. <laughs> yeah, my she's mom gone. Says, my, I'm pretty sure my mom says. I think it's an so. old. It's like a. And when I say old, I mean like our our parents' ages are older woman thing to say warsh. I've only known that to be true. Have you guys ever heard someone say the word pillow instead of pillow? Yeah, I mean you, you. say milk. Shut the fuck up. No, he says milk. I said milk. No, you said milk. It's because I say it right. It's fuck. yeah. Oh uh, yeah, our my old coworker and friend uh, says "pello." That's so weird. Yeah, Jake, a uh, friend of the pod, says "pello." What a fucking idiot! And milk. <laughs> How do you say milk? But "pello" is a step too far. "Pello" it hurts. Yeah. Pillow, pajamas, <laughs> egg, pajamas. <laughs> Minnesota. What about mayonnaise? Do you say mayonnaise or mayonnaise? Oh, we don't say mayonnaise. We say mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. For, it's hard. Yeah. Like reading this to you because I'm gonna say how yeah. I say it. Maybe <laughs> just describe the object and then we'll see. Hey, I don't want to throw any shade here, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's just a, that's an inside joke I just for the judge. <laughs> can't leave that in. Or how? have better names. I don't know. <laughs> Ugh. I can't wait for that to just be entirely bleeped. <laughs> Can you just do like the, the like dolphin noises like they do from in SpongeBob? SpongeBob? I'll try. Do you pronounce pin and pen the same or differently? D- differently. Yeah. Pin. That's southern to say pen and pin the same. It's southern. Pin. It's like uh, iron, iron, and iron. What do you call the thing you throw the, your waste into? A garbage can, a trash can, both or other? Garbage can. I'd say garbage. I don't say trash can. I don't say trash can, but I do say like, oh, we need to put that in the trash or the trash goes out tonight. Mm, I say garbage. I say garbage, actually. Like oh. almost exclusively, I'll say like, oh, do we need to take the garbage out? Now when I'm when I'm trying to get this fucker out of my house, I say, I got time to take out the trash. Mm, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, what do you call a carbonated soft drink? A soda, soda, a pop, or a Coke? It's definitely soda. It's definitely soda. It's, my family is, it's so interchangeable that I can't even, like, tell. Like, before you read the options, it's like soda. Like, just yeah. naturally, I'm like, oh, you want a soda? Yeah. I don't, I don't think I'm I ever done, say pop. I'm done drinking soda. Aren't we on, like, the little weird border of, like, <laughs> probably where it changes? I think so. Do you pronounce cot and caught the same or differently? Definitely the same. Cot yeah. and caught? Yeah. You like don't you say caught. On, yes, you do. You sleep on a cot? I got caught last night. I don't say I got caught last night. Yes, you do. I no, caught. I don't. Come on. I don't mean you specifically. I mean the royal us. The royal us <laughs> does not say cot. Yes, we do. No, we don't. That's the Midwest accent. No, it is not. That's fucking Boston. Well, it's the same thing. Boston, Boston is the is Midwest of the, the East. Shut the fuck up, oh, no, Joshua. You're, you're actually spitting facts. No. I always say caught. Like, like if I throw you something. When I caught it, caught. Mm, I don't know. I feel like that's a, we're like on the border there. I disagree. We don't, say, we don't say caught. I do. No, I, I promise listeners, you're going to, if you listen back, you're saying caught. Like, I yeah, promise. I and, caught it. And that's different than caught. You, you understand what I'm saying? No. Caught and caught. Yeah, Erica, correct. Know are our, different in our heart hearts of hearts. <laughs> our I, was hearts. Gonna, <laughs> I was gonna try to say heart stupid, but I couldn't. In our heart of hearts, you well. know which one we want to pick. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, anyway. I promise when you hear, when you listen it back, you'll know what I'm saying. You I sleep promise. on a cot. Yeah. And I caught these hands. You just that said the same thing. Close. The same what? Literally did not. The other way is caught, caught like with a W in it, and you're not saying it with a W in it. I am. No, You're I really don't not. Panic us, You're really not. I feel not. like this is going to be a, a similar situation as last week. It's test. not. This is this is getting my blood boiling. <laughs> Josh, you're wrong. I will show you the way. I'm going to put it on the board next week, and you'll be like, "That's ten percent slowed down, caught." Yeah, it's different. Okay. What do you call the thing you drink from? Do you? I'm sorry. What do you call the thing you drink water from in school? The water fountain, the drinking fountain, the or the bubbler? Yeah. We don't fucking call it a bubbler, you dumb piece. Of I shit. lived in Wisconsin for a year. I call it a bubbler. No, I call it. I simulated I call, really I call, I call it a uh, drinking fountain. I call it a drinking fountain. Water fountain seems weird. Yeah, that's like a thing in a park. I, yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah, a drinking fountain. But I feel like in schools I've heard like teachers call them water fountains, but I would only ever call it a drinking fountain. Yeah. Hmm. What do you call it when roads intersect in a circle? A roundabout. Do you call it a roundabout, a traffic circle, a rotary, or I don't have a word for this? A rotary. Like a phone? That must be British. We call it a roundabout here. The sign next to our new local roundabout, uh, it's there was one sign that just said roundabout. They forgot the A. So it's okay. like new traffic pattern roundabout. And I was like, wait. Is, have we been saying it Is right? it just roundabout? <laughs> and then the next one said roundabout. And I was like, what the fuck happened to that <laughs> sign? Why did you? Because there wasn't a space missing for an A. It was roundabout. One word. Hmm. How Typos you- happen, Josh. Sorry. <laughs> Fire me. How do you address a group of people? Y'all, you guys, you all. You guys. You guys. I would go with everybody. I don't think I would say anyone Woke. Else. So you guys put whatever you want. Fuck! <laughs> it is you guys. You dumbass. <laughs> I've been caught. I've been absolutely you've been, caught. You've been what? You've been caught. I've you've been, been absolutely caught. Weird. I sleep on a cot. cot. No. (laughs) Incorrect. Oh my God. We say you guys here. I will do a y'all every once in a while. What do you call the big road cars drive fast on? Interstate. Highway, freeway. I use both for different things or other. Other. Okay. Um, Here's the thing. Not freeway. I do. I would never call it freeway. I I would only call it an interstate if it's an interstate, but I would call them highways. I wouldn't call it a, whatever the fuck they called it. Freeway? Nah. No, definitely not. Freeway. Highway or interstate? So we're going with other? Yeah. You guys just default to interstate? Yeah. Yeah. That's the fastest thing you can drive on in Illinois. It's the interstate. There's no highway. Like, highways have different rules than interstates do in Illinois. Okay. So, going with other? Yeah, I mean, we can all be wrong. I know how Josh feels about cot now. <laughs> no, I was talking about the bed. So where do you guys think Caught you red handed fucker Where do you guys think Beds 
This is all cut. <laughs> this is all cut. Absolutely all cut. And cut back in. Cut it out. <laughs> Where do you guys think we landed in in this country? I bet you. I wouldn't surprise me if we put us towards Southern Illinois. Okay. I don't know. Well, how broad of a term does it go? State or does it go like region? Uh, it's region. We'll go. So we're gonna Midwest land Midwest then? for sure. Yeah, Midwest. Pacific Northwest. PNW. Like fucking lies. This is why we're not sponsored by this dog shit company anymore. <laughs> and they should change their name. Fuck them. It says Pacific the- Northwest. How? What? Did, what? I wonder. This is like every quiz. It needs to be like. It needs to be like. Here's what you answered to make us think PNW. Yeah. I also want to see all the results to see how we miss Midwest. The Pacific Northwest isn't very well known for the way its people talk. It doesn't have the flashy features of a Southern drawl or a Boston brogue. But don't let that fool you. This part of the country does have its own defining features. Find out about the region in our article on the dialect. No, fuck you. you. We're not doing that. No. Um, Unless you're sponsoring us this weekend. Then... It, it didn't even mention Midwest in that little blip. Yeah. It's like, and here's how it's different from Midwest. It didn't even ask us how we pronounce like Chicago. Like, I feel like it should have been like, how do you say the city in Illinois? Yeah. Chicago or Chicago? You know what I mean? Yeah. That's just Eastern, I guess. But I agree with you. There, it felt like there wasn't enough questions to weed to out get the, the Midwest. Midwest in there. Yeah. So thanks, Jenna, for sending that. It was a fucking caramel. That's the one that fucked us up. We put, we put caramel. I think we did caramel, didn't we? No, we did caramel. Fuck. All right. Can I get the cord? Shut the fuck up, Josh. <laughs> we have a very special listener submitted sound. So if you guys have very special listener submitted sounds, go on over to judgespot at gmail dot com. Put listener submitted sound in the in the title. Uh, this one is from, hey, you know what? You know what? I'm not even going to say who it's from. <laughs> you piece of shit. I'm over here trying to be serious and be mad at Joshua, and you giggle. I'm How am pi- I? I'm pissed about this. <laughs> Stop. I'm fucking pissed about this. I'm not even going to say who it's from. We're going to listen, and you guys will suss it out. Is it Anthony Serrato? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's Grace. <laughs> From last week's audio. Boo, and she I sucks. You, I don't suck, even though I just got back from eating shit. So, <laughs> I would not recommend. Uh. <laughs> that was wonderful. That was like <laughs> so many inside jokes. That was sent in January of this year. Oopsies. I slept through the cracks. I was wondering about the Grizz Chronicle because when I was looking for a sound previously, I also saw that. I was like, we had to have played this, right? We had the whole Grizz Chronicle of her sucking. Well, we had to get in a couple because now we got Josh being in like, guys, stop saying she sucks. She's actually really cool. And I'm getting in a lot of shit. So here we go. Listener submitted story. Have I ever once said that Grace sucks? Because I feel like I'm. It's implied. It's heavily implied. Two out of three. So all the judges think Erica it? supports women. Except Grace. Eat shit. <laughs> she already did. That was the whole thing. Hey, go get seconds. Um, let's see here. How about am I the asshole for telling my boyfriend's friend about his mommy kink? Telling my boyfriend's friend about his mommy kink. Okay. Hey judges. No, you probably helped him out a lot. This is also <gasps> big bold asterisk. Please do not read my name. It's really hard to open canned beverages with long nails. Mm. Snore. Also, my friend did my my friend Courtney did my nails. I take you. Beautiful. You have a friend named Courtney. Snore. Yeah. Let's get back to the story. All caps asterisk smiley face. Please not use my name. Thank you. Gal, give me. I need a female name. Gal. Like the Godot. Yeah. Otherwise. <clears throat> hey, judges. Just want to say I've been listening for like two and a half years absolutely crazy it's been that long and this is my first time writing in please don't use my name as this is probably one of the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me gal it's fine it's really not that bad so here we go am i the asshole for telling my boyfriend's friend that my boyfriend has a mommy kink and cries after sex Ooh. yeah kind of changes it a little bit have you ever they cried left after out sex? that part no I get it all out during <laughs> that's fair <laughs> none left in the tank Tears are also Tears stored, are stored in, in their balls. balls yeah. yeah, I thought it was stored in the shit. Um. I you, <laughs> I'm 21 currently. I'm Whoop. currently. 
I'm yeah. current. I'm current. What do you want us to say, Josh? You I'm left current. Pa- you left a pregnant pause for us. There's nothing to say about being 21. Happy 21. Hope you guys shit faced. I'm currently 21, and this happened when we were teenagers. But let's. But it's definitely a core memory. Let's get into snore it. memory. This wasn't our first time having sex, but it was the first time we did oral. Come on, no way. That was a good one. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It, yes, was it was fine at best. This is crazy. This is insane. <laughs> what you should have brought up all the trulies, Josh. Yeah. What did they say? The drunk couch is the best with sober Joshua or what? no, whatever was, they said? It was drunk couch instigating Josh is all it was. I don't know about that. And I'm getting instigated. <laughs> You guys are about to cotch these hands, I'll tell you that. Cotch? <laughs> it's like the wide receiver, Jericho Cottery. He catches everything that comes to him. Can I have my carrots back? This wasn't our first time having sex, but it was the first time doing oral. He started to go down on me, and at first it felt okay. Then I felt a weird sensation, and I told him, hang on, don't. it doesn't feel right. He then responds with, nah, that's what it's supposed to feel like. So maybe like 30 seconds later, I say, nah, bro, I'm going to pee. This isn't right. He goes, nah, don't worry. Then boom, I start peeing in his mouth. Okay. He stops and runs to the bathroom in his room. Rich. (laughs) I'm laying there absolutely mortified, hands over my face, frozen in embarrassment. Once he comes back from spitting up and brushing his teeth, I go to the bathroom and clean myself up. Tears literally welling in my eyes. I go back to where he is and say, look, I'm sorry. That was super embarrassing. I know something didn't feel right. And he says, yeah, that was really nasty. I can't believe you did that. You really should have told me you had to use the bathroom. It's just a little squirt. I was going to say, it's just squirt. It's just a little squirt. But also she did say, it feels like I'm going to pee, which for a lot of women that can. Squirt is pee. Okay. Yes. But I was also going to say that. You know what? Just go ahead. She Joshua. admitted. I didn't even interrupt you. Don't give me the like, like I interrupted you when I didn't even interrupt you. Visually you. interrupted me. Come on, you no way. You distracted me from so my thoughts. So while you're talking, I just have to. No, that's snore. distracting. Oh my lord. Uh, what were you saying, Erica? I don't remember. Oh my lord. Sometimes Squirt when is women. Piss. Is that jog your memory? Oh, sometimes women have that sensation, like right before yeah. they're about to climax. It feels like you're going to have to pee. Sure. So men get it too. I believe that. I've never pissed. <laughs> Somebody, please. I've had a catheter my whole life. I then tried to explain to him that I told him something didn't feel right, but that he consist- insisted on continuing. <laughs> I guess he could see that I was really embarrassed, so he dropped it, and we started watching TV. Yeah. Now, fast forward a month or two. My boyfriend's friend from Florida came to visit. We'll call him Mugshot. Mugshot. Wow, okay, Florida that's Maine. very flip. Very flip. Flurry flitting for Mary a Florida Flo man. Rider of you. And my boyfriend, Mugshot, and I were hanging out in my boyfriend's room when Mugshot makes a comment about my loose bladder. I knew exactly what he was referring to and immediately and I immediately felt embarrassed all over again and extremely furious that my boyfriend would tell him about that. So I ask, what do you mean? And he goes, oh, nothing. Just don't piss yourself or on anyone or the bat- and that the bathroom's over there. At this point, I was so hurt, I just wanted to leave. But before I did, I said, since he tells you everything, did he tell you about his mommy kink and how after he finishes, he cries for like 10 minutes, literally sobbing? My boyfriend looked at me angry and said, what was their name? Gail. What the hell, Gail? What the heck, Gail? We're just joking. I said, fuck mugshot and fuck you too. I began to pack up all my things and I started to walk home. I get a text message from my boyfriend a little later later saying, I don't understand why you freaked out and embarrassed me in front of Mugshot. That was actually pretty mean of you. I said, yeah, it doesn't feel good at all to be vulnerable with someone only to have them throw it back in your face later and not the sexy kind. He basically said how I'm telling his friend about me was different because they're boys. We've been boys forever. Come on. And how they tell each other everything about the girls they're with. I said, that's not okay, and I deserve to have some privacy when it comes to us being intimate. Yeah. He never apologized for telling his friend and insisted that I was overacting. So am I the asshole for telling my boyfriend's friend about his mommy kinking him crying after sex? No. No, he's a piece of shit. You should break out with him. I mean, it does does suck because, like, on one hand, fucking mugshot is the piece of shit here. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And so, like, it, it does suck that, like, 
the boyfriend's caught in the crossfire, but it's like if he's gonna be a piece of shit and not stand up for you at all. Yeah. Okay, but he's also a piece of shit for saying that. Like, but I understand like uh, talking to your friend about like something that happened. Like you're working through it as well. Like, hey, this thing happened. Like, is that weird or is this a concern or what has this ever happened to you? Like, I get that. So the friend definitely is the worst. Like, mugshot, get the fuck out, go back to Florida, you piece of shit. But also, it's just as much the boyfriend's fault for having that discussion and not telling her, like, ahead of time, like, hey, we all know in the room, like, just so you know. But, I mean, realistically, do you think that conversation would happen? I don't think in the real world that happens. Yeah, kind of like you're saying, Erica, like, there's definitely shit that, like, especially when you're in a new relationship, which it wasn't said here, but, like, the rules on, like, a new relationship, or, like, you know, you don't know if you're officially dating yet, like, you'll just tell your friend, like, dude, I hooked up with this girl last night, and, like, this happened, it was crazy. And then you end up dating that person, and it's, like... Okay, I told I you that things as a you. hookup, and yeah. now it's like now you're my partner. I wouldn't share these potentially embarrassing things. Like if something happens with me and Aurora that's like funny but intimate, I'll say like, "Can I tell Christian?" Of Erica course, about this? yeah. But like if I was just like at the very beginning, like if we didn't continue dating, I'd be like, "Yeah, this girl shit herself on our first date," and I would have no problem telling you guys that. Right. Um. So it's it's definitely gray area. But for mugshot to bring it up is yeah. fucking insane. Yes. I agree. And, like, the fa- it's the fact that the boyfriend, like, didn't even try to defend it or, like, be like, hey, man, that's not cool. Yeah. Exactly. The defense of, like, we're boys. We're just busting yeah. each other's balls. I thought you were yeah. one of the boys. Except for you're not busting each other's balls here. You're busting mine. Right. Yeah. It's only on her. E- and it's not it's, reciprocated. So, so, in a way, okay. she was trying to be like, well, I'm going to bust your balls now. Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, you, you sh- like, hers was an accident. Yes. Mm-hmm. And like, I guess, I don't know, sharing an accident versus like sharing a kink. But like, why are you embarrassed of that mommy also, kink? Mommy and, kink is like, is that insane in the year 2023, 2023. of our Lord and Savior? Well, this was a couple of years ago. In 2021? That's when it was not okay. It wasn't okay to no. talk about mommy kinks but then. P.S. We broke up like six months later because he cheated on me. Too long. Shocker. So even if I'm ruled an asshole, I'd do it again. Hey, too Good. long. Yeah, you should have broke up with him. I think it's a little bit. I guess like everybody kind of sucks, but it's like you're the least sucky. Like there's no, I wouldn't call you an asshole. No, it's like you definitely shouldn't like levy personal information to be like you fucked me over, eye for an eye. That's just not how I roll. Mm, I would have. You do that all the time. (laughs) Name one time I I did an eye for an eye, and that's how I rolled. Um, remember the time I said, "Hey, Josh, I think your shoes untied," and then you told everybody about the time I shit myself on my first date. (laughs) Cut that, editor. Don't let that get out. That really makes me look bad over here. <laughs> I shouldn't have pressed my best friend on telling a story about a time that I was being inconsistent in my beliefs. Yeah. <laughs> this one's from Addison Reddit story. Hi, judges. You can use my name. Thank God. Thanks, Addison. Thanks for putting it in the first sentence. I have recently discovered your podcast with my best friend, and I've been binging for weeks. How much binging? It's not good for your mental health. (laughs) It's really bad for it. (laughs) The first episode we listened to was the lab partner episode. We were frustrated for days after hearing that story. (laughs) Anyways, I was stuck in a doom scroll late last night and came across this story. I haven't listened to every episode yet, but I think it might be a sub, a new subreddit. (laughs) She said, think. Okay. Think. Thanks for you to become. Thanks to you for becoming me and my best friend's new obsession. Love to everyone, Madison and Artie. Uh, P.S. Here's a picture of my kitten. Here he is, loving pretty litter. Oh, look at this sweet I little kitty. Put, I want to pet that cat. I have a really hot take regarding kittens. You don't like kittens. Kittens are so ugly, guys. Compare a kitten to a puppy. Right now, in your head, kittens are so ugly. And I hate them. Kittens are like, you hate them. They suck. You they fucking scratch. You no, need to bleep that they part. scratch everything. They fucking shit and piss everywhere. What about the way they sometimes just sit on your shoulder and they're cute as fuck? They can't even walk right. Puppies, yeah, they shit and piss everywhere, but like they can't walk right either. They also but, bite and scratch everything. But they're so much cuter about they it. They fuck up everything. I feel like kittens are like you know that that you know how people have like competitions for like ugliest dog. The yeah. ugliest dog to me is cuter than the cutest kitten. This is because you're a misogynist. Oh, I second that. It's because they don't have freaking Toxoplasma Gandhi eyes. Why? I'm going to fucking give you a Toxoplasma Gandhi eyes. <laughs> Keep talking shit. R slash ADHD women. 
Whoop. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I love how mad you get at our subtle clinks. No, I was here laughing at that joke. Not because I don't think it was. <laughs> <laughs> Not it was exasperated, Josh. Christian, Christian, can, um, I, can I tell you something? Yeah, let's hear it. You're my best friend, and I. What the hell? <laughs> don't even say that back. Uh, say it back. I, you're my wife, and I love you so much. <laughs> You're my best friend's friend, and I love you so much. <laughs> exasperated, Josh. You that's what it was. It was ringing. drunk couched, exasperated, Josh. You guys have a ringing in your ears? You're <laughs> about to. <laughs> now, that's a joke. Oh, that's a joke. <laughs> that's a really good Minnesotan accent. Good one, Joshua. Fiance made a dumb joke I can't get over. Can we all relate? Yeah. <laughs> I can relate so hard. This is tagged as emotional regulation and rejection sensitivity. What's that mean? I make dumb <laughs> jokes and you get really upset about them sometimes. Look how mad your face is right now. Remember this the journal thing? This is a joke thing? for the podcast. Mm-hmm. <laughs> remember what? The journal thing. Snort. <laughs> I do remember the journal thing, you piece of it shit. It was a joke and you didn't like it. It wasn't a joke. That's his actual belief. But it was a it was a joke. He's his, his existence is a joke. It's funny that, that he exists, no. and therefore everything he believes is kind of silly. <laughs> okay, Real clown. Back back in here. This is from again ADHD women. My fiance and I have been together over three years and engaged for about three months now. He's a great guy and a much better partner to me than I am to him. Flex. <laughs> insane thing to just admit right i'm a bad i partner. suck that's not what she's admitting she's not saying that she's a piece of, like she's not saying that she sucks as a partner well, she's saying that he's better be- than me like i don't deserve him he's so wonderful no, she, he's a better be partner to me than i am to him and yeah. dudes can't be and good partners i feel like that's really implying that you aren't you know you aren't pulling your weight in the relationship or that you just have such a fantastic partner that you can't even compete. Would you say ever say realistically that Christian is a better partner to you? Yes, I say that Break quite up. frequently. Break up, it's not healthy then. What are you talking about? It's not healthy. You need to have a perfectly balanced dynamic in your relationship. Oh, okay, because every be single perfect. relationship is perfectly yeah, balanced. Yeah. Ours, mine is. Oh, really? Me and Christian's, yeah. Yeah. Go on. Oh, no. No! I just think that sentence is really strange. <laughs> it's sort of like when people say like, to me it has the same energy as when people are like i've been dating so-and-so and and we have our ups and downs like i just wouldn't ever say that out loud as like here's strangers i'm talking to i'm just gonna say our relationship isn't perfect because it's like what the fuck are you talking about you know what i mean you don't think when somebody says they have their ups and downs it's not a red flag that's a red flag to me does that make sense Mm mm-hmm I feel like you're so mad about yeah, a no- different part of this that you're not paying attention to, to I'm this part. I'm fully paying attention. What did I say right now? You said, what did I say right now? She's fully paying attention, folks. Got your ass. She no, is not an ADHD woman. The, the she is not an ADHD woman. The sanctimonious thing of... Guys, I have so many more stories to read. We're so exasperated over here. A few months after we started dating, he went to hang out with some of his friends, two couples at one of the couple's houses. I had to stay home because of work. Anyway, the woman in the couple who was hosting, Lydia, made an excellent meal. And he came home and joked that he tasted the food and, quote, wished I was dating Lydia. But then I remembered that you are much hotter. That's rude. Very rude. (laughs) The rational part of my brain knows that this was just a dumb joke. But then at various times, he has put this friend group ahead of me. All right, I'm going to pause here. I feel like that's not a joke. That's like yeah. I. It makes me really feel for this person. Like the rational part of my brain knows it's a joke. It's like that's a shitty joke. If that was a joke, it doesn't sound like the rational part. That sounds like uh, you trying to convince yourself part. That's yeah. what it feels like to me. What? What's this, Erica? Go on, I'm listening. We've really soured the mood on Erica. You were having a blast, and we have done. We didn't do bad. shit. This is on Erica. Can I say that? You would say. I'm that, gonna have yeah. to go back and watch the tapes <laughs> before I commit. I'm not gonna say anything. My wife's never done wrong in her life, so. It's a good partner. You do pronounce caught wrong. Oh. I thought I would get I'm not going to clean glasses with you. You clean glasses with the over there. Whoa, no. Cut that, right? We can't <sighs> say that. The store? Cut. Read, 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 read. Read. <laughs> 
No, I'm not clinking glasses with you. You can fucking clink glasses with piece of shit Josh. <laughs> piece of shit Josh. <laughs> um, do you want it? Do you want to clink glasses? Is that what this is all stemming from? No, fuck you. The clinking glasses was a me and Chrissy thing. You're, you guys are the first ones to ever come up with it. Give me all of my carrots back. I have to rapid fire them at you. What have I done? You've existed, Josh. That's fair. Okay. You're in the doghouse with me, Joshua. That's fine. Oh, I thought I was like. You what? are. Wow. <laughs> this is a doghouse episode. We got a lot oh of stories Lord. to get through then. But do you know what I mean? When it's like, it really, I feel bad where she's like, it, it almost feels like she's like, well, it's because I, I'm blaming my ADHD for like why I didn't get his joke wrong as opposed to just being like, that dude told a bad joke. Yeah. A hurtful joke. Yeah, or a hurtful joke. And you're trying to be like, rationalize like, no, he uh, definitely meant it as a joke. It at various feelings. other times, he has put this specific friend group ahead of me. We had tickets to Hamilton that I paid over $600 for. He was the one who wanted to you go to the, the show. You are the asshole. He was the one who wanted to go to the show. She's the one that paid $600 plus. That's pretty cheap for Hamilton tickets. Fuck off. This is from seven hours ago. So that was when Hamilton was at its peak. Um, he remembered the day before the show that he had plans with this friend group and was ready to cancel the show. Non-refundable tickets that we couldn't change to go hang out with them instead. It wasn't until I threatened to break up with him that he decided to hang out with them, but leave early to make the show on time. What the fuck? Now we're wedding planning and we're finding no. a weekend so that our families in three different states could get together to meet and coordinating with my schedule. I'm a lawyer in the middle of a three month trial, so I'm spread pretty thin. I don't feel bad about the 600 bucks anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Public that I broke it. You left. Public I... defender. Ooh, you're a good guy. I'm sorry. And he wants to keep several weekends opened because this group might have a cookout at some point this summer. I feel so insecure and rejected in my relationship because he has shown me time and time again that his friends and Lydia will always come first. It sounds stupid, but I don't know how to live with this other woman in my relationship. Should I call off my engagement? Correct. Yes. Dump them. Dump them. Dump him and her and the whole friend group. The crazy part is, is she believes he's the better partner. Yeah. So how bad of a partner must she be? Am I right, folks? Or just maybe she has bad self-esteem. That could be. And needs to look inward and say, hey. Maybe he's just guilt tripping me to make me feel shit about the relationship. Let's be a public defender for ourselves. <laughs> oh my god! Become a personal defender. Wow, oh I love that. Thoughts, questions, comments, concerns. Where are we sitting at, Ricky? What's the emotional state right now? You still don't. I heard a chuckle Ooh. at one of my jokes, but you're still looking pretty upset. I'm still pissed, but I'm working are, on it. What are we pissed about? You mostly. You're in the doghouse. Shut the fuck up, Josh. All right, we're gonna read a vile one, <laughs> <sighs> only because the other one is so long and it's really not that good of a story. <clears throat> I love the reasoning. <laughs> Can I be honest? This is from Teddy. <gasps> Whoop. Hello, judges. Hello, Teddy. Hi. What? Feel free no, to use. Be... Why are you mad so at Teddy? Oh my God, hi, Teddy. <laughs> Long time no see. Do not use my name on the podcast. <laughs> Fuck. Just kidding. Feel free to use my name in the podcast. The story is one that is currently popular on r slash off my chest. And for some extra comment, I have a comment that gives more info. Okay. I found nudes on my brother's PC. Gross. Content warning. Don't snoop. Depending on the context of the nudes. Bad brother. <laughs> Content warning. Um, incest. Okay. Hey, <clears throat> I don't. I take back every statement I said. No, no, not the bad brother part. Bad brother <laughs> does stand. About two months ago, my brother passed away. It has devastated my family, and we have been bad slowly brother. putting together. <laughs> we have slowly putting been slowly putting ourselves back together. A real Humpty Dumpty situation. You know, not actually an egg in the story. I don't, I don't feel like you should say Humpty Dumpty uh, after just talking about incest. Wow. Very very valid point. I was putting the pieces back together again was the Humpty Dumpty joke. Mm -hmm. You want to laugh at it is the I sad part. I really don't. That was a laugh. I could see. Mm. You know, the <laughs> no, way that's not what you made, editor. Mm. Editor. The editor Erica laughing. The corner of your lips turned up. 
What am I, the Grinch? No. I'm don't not answer, saying that. Don't answer that. Uh, can I not answer it? No. <laughs> Do you want to be the Grinch? Ma- Grinch? <laughs> All right, here we go. We're... Pacific Northwest, I, I'd hear it now. <laughs> Uh, my yeah, mom has. Mad. <laughs> my mom has finally got to the point where she is comfortable going through his belongings that got sent to us from his flat. Ooh, British! And she gave me his PC among other bits to take a look at and see if I could do anything with it. I know a fair bit about computers, so I thought I would set it up to see what still worked. It booted up fine, and to my surprise, he didn't have a password on it. He lived on his own, so I guess he never really needed to keep anyone out. Out of a sort of morbid curiosity, I opened the browser. I thought I could maybe see some of the last things he was looking at towards the end, and I saw a link to his Google photos in his favorites bar. I thought this was an amazing chance to get back some of the photos we might never have seen, get some photos of his friends and adventures he'd been on over the years. On the side, I saw his albums, and one of them had my name on it. In this album was a fuck ton of my nudes, videos, and screenshots of some of my Instagram posts and stories. I didn't go through it for very long, but it was a massive amount. I have no fucking idea how he got a hold of them or why the hell he'd been collecting them. I used to be in a long-distance relationship with my ex who loved me sending him pictures and videos, but there's no way he would have ever sent them to my brother. Now here's the question. Do I tell my family of what I found? I now feel so different about him, and I don't understand why he would have done this. Was he attracted to me? Uh, Did he get off to these? Or was it just some sort of compulsion he had? I'm a mix of disgusted and devastated, and I just don't know how to move on from it. I keep feeling a need to go back and look how far this collection goes, but I know I shouldn't. I told you it was vile. Josh, this is the worst story you've ever read. Really? This is bad. This one's very bad. This is bad. (laughs) This is worse than Oh Mama. Mmm... Hey, Oh Mama was consensual. You read that one. I know. Well, quotes on the consensual, right? Fair, but more consensual than this. It's fucking crazy. It's fucking disgusting. Uh, It's so bad. It's so bad. We can't put that on TikTok. Oh, it's going on TikTok. There's no way it can go on TikTok. Why? It's going to get taken down. We haven't had a video taken down in so long. I don't feel like we should start. Get point. I'm putting on TikTok. <clears throat> Are you ready for the comment? Somebody asked, "Did you know your long distance boyfriend in real life? It definitely looks like he was obsessed with you. Did you ever leave your phone unattended around him? How often did you see him? What was the age difference between you two? So I think this person was trying to ask, like, was your bo- brother like catfishing no you? No yeah. way. And they said, "Yeah, I knew my ex. We only just we just only got to see each other every other weekend because of his work. I never left my Thank phone God. unattended that I knew of, but we lived in the same house until I was 18 and moved out, so there's no way of knowing. I only tended to see him every special occasion at my parents' place for the last few years really. There's a two-year two year age gap. I'm the eldest." So, I hate this. Yeah. I really like ending on a really bad bad mood. Yeah. It's just such a fucking disgusting, insane thing of like, what a, what a, cause now this person, like not only has, is she been violated? Yeah. She doesn't know how, like either her ex was sending those videos or somehow her brother got her phone and like was sending them to himself and all that stuff. Uh, but now she has this information about her brother being a fucking piece of shit weirdo. Yeah. And, and it's like all of her, doing? all of her friends and family are going to be like, Oh, oh, man. He was so great. He was or, so nice. You know, I'm so you sorry know, for your loss. Gone too soon. I, I, yeah. I think, Holy fuck. If this person's not already in therapy, I think they need to go oh, to therapy. Yeah, absolutely. I think you need to find a very specific therapist to talk this through yeah. with. <laughs> you get to, I think eventually you got to tell a family, right? So, I don't know. I, I mean, I feel like... I, I think to save yourself from people bringing it up to you. You know what I mean? Like, to, to just bring up the brother to be like, oh, like, what was the last good memory you had with, with Jonathan? It's like, oh, man, I don't want to answer that question. I don't ever want to think or talk about my brother ever again. Yeah. But then uh, uh, how do you... I mean, yes, that's one thing to talk to your family about it. Like, hey, this happened. And then your family's never going to bring it up, but do you tell every single person that you or your brother ever knew? Yeah, I would would definitely keep it core family. 
but then somebody that knew you is going to be like, oh, you know, talk yeah. about your brother. Remember it, this time yeah. that we did blah, blah, blah. It'd be easier to deflect like like a mutual friend asking than it would be to like your mom. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Holy fuck, Josh. Yeah. Hey, that, hey. That was a heavy one. That one was from Teddy. So blame Teddy. Teddy, Teddy. what the fuck? I can't believe you said hi to him at the beginning. I take it back. <coughs> we are mad at Teddy. Remember when we said that Eric was mad at Teddy? And we're mad at Teddy. I should say, uh, this was this week that we're recording this um, was the week that like Reddit was down. So mm. a, lo- a lot of big Reddits, subreddits were like boycotting. Like private, yeah. Which and I mean, we went dark for two days, baby. Yeah, you really showed Reddit. Um, I really think <laughs> can, uh, worker rights and labor unionizing is really good, but a really piss poor effort on this one, guys. Um, but it was it was definitely harder to find. <laughs> like I was Sorry. like, I I was on Reddit so much, and it was just it was just showing me the same like ten subs, and was, they weren't they weren't even like good stories. I was like man, so it affected me. So actually, it yeah. was a it was a good. I'm glad it was your week to find stories because I made a joke about that yeah. when we were at work, and I was like, oh, it's gonna be a hard week to find stories. Yeah. I'm glad to hear it was kind of not for me because I don't have to find my own because I've got really great listeners. Ultimately, that's why I did the email and like did stuff from there. Um, But like I didn't realize it because you said that to me yesterday, and I was like, "No, no, it should be okay." And I looked to see if I had saved any, and like since whenever we last recorded, remember I last read, so for us to be two weeks from two weeks ago, I didn't save a single story. It's like that's crazy, yep. or they got deleted and I didn't screenshot them. But it's crazy. I was like, man, I didn't see anything. So, so get us out of here, Ricky. I have another one that's very, very long and not I mean, very if, good. If you want to read that one instead, and we'll cut the last. We're one. not cutting that one, Erica. I'm so uncomfy. I don't like it. But what if? What if? Are you ready to be done? Yeah. I'm seeing if this is worth it. This is one of those things where I read like one sentence. I was like, yeah. (laughs) They did say I'm truly interested to hear Erica's take on this situation. She's my favorite judgy. And the one I tend to agree with the most. We agree on everything. This is like when dudes on TikTok comment like, like our, were you shaking your head no at me? No. Oh. <laughs> our content headphones our second. content will get ripped and stolen onto other accounts mm-hmm. and then people will be like get that girl off that podcast she's the worst she has the worst takes and it's like <laughs> we all pretty much say the same thing yeah like we're pretty much all on the same page here mm-hmm. it's very telling that you're we somebody literally messaged us they were like you got to get that girl off the podcast it's like why would i listen to you man we're a very successful show <laughs> And that's all I meant. If we weren't successful, Erica, you would be out of here. Oh, for I sure, I think yeah. we have to owe a lot of our success to Erica. I think we owe honest. a lot of our success to all of our fans who support us every single week by following us on all of our socials. And Erica, where can they do that at? What a transition, Joshua. You can follow us on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, Patreon, uh, Letterboxd. I think that's all of them. Yeah, sure. You weren't even listening to me. TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> and what's that? Uh, that's at Judgy's Pod, J U D G I E S, except for on uh, what, what's it called? Letterbox. Letterbox. It's Judgy's underscore pod. Because <laughs> Christian's a fucking fool. Dumb idiots over here. Um, it was in the early days of the podcast, it was. guys. So you can, you can follow us on all those things. If you want to send us some stories, listener submitted sounds, listener submitted stories, you got family drama, you got some some juicy gossip your neighbor down the streets fucking the neighbor up the street let me know let me know let me know that gossip is your hoa <laughs> cutting down all your trees i've seen i saw that is one thing i saw so many hoa fucking posts like in the past like two days bro hoas are the fucking worst it must be because it's like spring and summertime so like mm. just, like i saw one that was like it was like uh they were like oops sorry we overspent our HOA budget so we're $33,000 in debt so now we're all just going to charge you this amount of money and if you don't agree to it we'll kick you out of your house it's like that's how is that my fault you fucked the budget yeah that's insane HOAs are garbage what's the email you can send that to judgespod at gmail.com and if you want to send us 
something <laughs> in the mail, you can do that at P.O. Box 58, Ottawa, Illinois, 61350. And hey, the judges love you. You and Josh read bad stories. They weren't bad stories. The last one really is lingering in your brain right now. It's yeah, I hate it. Do, should I have started the episode with that one? No. no. Okay. We were having <laughs> such a fun time. We I should have never clinked drinks with you. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Hugs and pisses. Love you. Have a great week. Bye. <laughs>